What's up guys, welcome to The Slumberyard, and in today's video we're talking about the best mattresses for hip pain. So if you struggle with any sort of hip pain, these are some of the beds that we've tried over here at The Slumberyard that we think should help your situation out a little bit. Now if you happen to want any more information about any of the beds on this list, you can always check down below in that description box, but stay tuned because we're going to cover everything you need to know. And if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button, and you can always subscribe to The Slumberyard for more, but let's just get right into this one. All right, so before I get into the beds on this list, I do wanna say that all of these mattress brands sent us these beds for free to review and tell you guys about them. We compiled this list completely ourselves based on our own testing. And if you do decide to order any of these beds, they'll be backed by the following policies, starting with completely free shipping. Then you'll get a sleep trial of at least 100 nights. You get some sort of return option and a warranty of at least 10 years. But without further ado, let's just talk about the first bed on this list, which is a newer one from Casper known as the Casper Dream Mattress. Now this is a hybrid bed that uses pocketed coils in combination with some foams. It's got Casper's Align Zone Support in its comfort foam and transition foam layers of the mattress. And if you didn't know, zone support is basically where the center third of the bed is gonna be a bit firmer, just to provide a bit more support for your trunk and hips. So if you do suffer from that pain, it should help a bit by being a little bit firmer. Then Casper's main comfort foam layer is a more responsive foam known as Breathe Flex Foam, which should provide a little bit more pressure relief for you in this part. Now we would pretty much say that this bed has more of a soft neutral hybrid foam feel. It's pretty similar to some of the old Casper mattresses that we've seen. It's just going to be really soft and accommodating, something that most sleepers will be able to get by on. And it's also going to be right around a medium, so another area where it's going to be really accommodating. It should work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. You know, if you just want something that's going to be soft, neutral, and going to work for most situations, I would check out the Casper Dream mattress. And it's got that firmness to boot. In terms of this bed's price, you should be able to pick it up after discount for around the $1,500 mark. And it's just a really great choice if you want something that has those pocketed coils by default. You know, they've got that zone support design as well. And it's going to be a really accommodating firmness and feel right around that medium and soft neutral. I should also mention that you can get the upgraded Dream Max. It will be about $1,000 more and there's a bit more going on in the mattress, especially in terms of that zone support design. So if you do want to spend up, I would definitely check down below in that description box and see our full Casper Dream review. But moving on to the next bed on this list would be the Safa RX mattress. And this is a great bed because it has a full year trial period and it's backed by a lifetime warranty. And the bed will actually get delivered to your house full size with a process called white glove delivery. So if you have some really severe hip pain and you can't just move a mattress inside and set it up yourself, I might go with this bed. In terms of its construction, it uses pocketed coils and they're all foam tipped, which is pretty cool, something we haven't really seen over here at the Slumberyard. Then above that, you have a layer of micro coils, which is basically sandwiched in between two other layers of foams. And micro coils kind of give off the feeling of a memory foam without actually having a memory foam in your mattress. I sleep on a bed with micro coils and it, of course it's not super memory foamy, but it just kind of feels like there's a hint of memory foam. You're getting a little bit more pressure relief from beds with those micro micro coils, as well as some support since they are still coils. In terms of this bed's feel, we pretty much say it has a classic inner spring feel with a hint of memory foam. Then though the bed doesn't use a ton of memory foam, it kind of has that hint feel from those micro coils like I just talked about. Now I should mention that it does have a little bit of memory foam in its construction, and that would be in the center third of the mattress. It's got this lumbar support zone, and it kind of acts as the opposite of Casper's zone support. So instead of having that middle third feeling a bit firmer, they're kind of going the opposite route with this. They're kind of doing the inverse and that middle third is going to feel a bit softer. So you're going to get a little bit more pressure really for your hip in that middle third with the Sattva RX bed. Now we would say that this bed's right around a medium on our firmness scale. So another great accommodating bed that should work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. It's really great to have these two opposite zone support feels in the same best list. You know, if you want a lot of support for your hip, you could definitely check out that Casper Dream bed because that will provide a lot of support. But if you think like, I don't want it to be pushing as hard on my hip, maybe check out the Safa RX. And so much more information about these beds that I've mentioned so far and the ones I'm going to get to will be linked down below in that description box if you do want to check them out. But let's talk about the next bed on this list, which would be the Helix Sunset Luxe mattress. This is going to be a bit of a softer mattress, so it might work for anyone who does want a lot of pressure relief. Helix makes six different beds in each line of their mattresses, and they even have a plus model for especially heavy individuals. But I'm talking about the Helix Sunset Lux in this video, and all of the Lux beds are gonna be a little bit more souped up than the Helix Core models. So these beds will have a good amount of support with those pocketed coils. And in terms of the Sunset Lux, this bed is gonna have a pretty neutral feel, you know, just a neutral hybrid feel. And it's gonna be on the softer end of things, so it's gonna be right around a medium soft on our firmness scale. So if you did want something that is a bit softer, I would steer you towards 
towards the Sunset Lux. Now, something I should mention about Helix is that they basically have beds in the whole firmness spectrum. So if you did want something right around a medium, you could check out the Midnight Lux, or if you wanted something a bit firmer than that, they got choices there as well. Something cool about the Helix Sunset Lux is that you can spend up and get a cooling cover if you were into that. And if you wanted a bit more of a zone support design in your mattress, you can add their Ergo Align layer, which will pretty much add that. Those are both add-ons, so you don't have to get them, but just having the option is pretty nice. I should also mention that you can get this exact same mattress in an Elite version, which has all that stuff built in and so much more. Definitely check out our full review on the Helix Elite beds because those are really great top tier mattresses. But getting back to the Helix Sunset Lux, you should be paying for the queen size around the $1,800 mark after discount. So definitely check down below in that description box to see if you can save some money with Helix. And I should mention that if you don't exactly want the Helix Sunset Lux mattress, you can take the Helix Sleep Quiz where you put some information about yourself and they basically spit out the bed that they think will work best in your situation. That'll also be linked down below in that description box if you want to check it out. Now, the last bit I have for you is the NOLA Evolution Hybrid. And this bed is available in three different firmness options, or you can get their Comfort Plus model, which is designed for people over the 300 pound mark. Something cool about NOLA is that they have a sleep trial like most beds, but you can waive it and save a bit of money. So if you knew you were going for this mattress, you can save a bit of money going that route and waiving that trial period. So cool to know. And all of the NOLA mattresses are backed by a lifetime warranty. Now, in terms of this bed, it has pocketed coils by default, but it has a combination of foams as well. And in terms of its firmness and feel, it has three different firmness options, like I mentioned, but it's gonna have more of that pillow top feel. It might be a bit more pillow toppy, meaning you'll sink in a bit more than something like the Helix Lux mattresses, but you know, having three firmness options is the main selling point and why this bed has made this best list in my opinion. And having that Comfort Plus one as well is pretty great if you're a heavy person. They have three different options. They have their plush, their luxury firm, and their firm to choose from. We would recommend most people go for that luxury firm just cause it's gonna be closer to that medium firmness and should work for all people. But if you did want something that's gonna be a bit softer, check out that plush model. That might work great for any side or combination sleepers or anyone who just wants a ton of pressure relief for their hip. And if you wanted a bit more support, check out that firm bed. And again, if you're above the 300 pound range, check out the Comfort Plus. That one will be right around a medium. And you know, that's for people who are around that 300 pound level. If you are basically around 150 pounds, you might find that Comfort Plus to be a bit firmer than that medium. All of these beds have a zone support design where that center third will be a bit firmer to provide a bit more support and keep their back in a more neutral spinal alignment as you sleep. And in terms of price, this bed isn't half bad. You should be able to pick up a queen size for around the $1,600 mark after discount, which is a pretty good deal for a bed with this many features. NOLA as a brand will usually even include some free pillows as well. So that might move the needle for you if you need just a whole bedroom setup but you know, it's just a good bed that has some really great choices and that's why it made the list. But that is basically the short story when talking about the best beds for hip pain, at least in our opinion. And if these beds weren't exactly what you're looking for, I would definitely check out the Slumberyard, our YouTube channel, because we do so many great best lists and we have a bunch of different options in terms of, you know, whether you're a side sleeper or you want something a bit firmer, you want something that's gonna be a memory foam feel with a side sleeper. We do tons over there, so check that out. And if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button and you can always subscribe to the Slumberyard for so much more. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep.